Hey guys, my name is Weefies, and in today's video we're going to be talking about a few things that annoy me on Hypixel, and as well, it annoys a few of my commenters as well. Thank you to all you guys who responded to the post a bit early and gave comments, I really appreciate it. Disclaimer, I may not have footage for some of these things because, you know, they're a bit hard to recreate. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number 1. People advertising their guild in the chat. I think I see this much more in foreign in foreign languages. However, people advertising their guilds in lobbies and in games just really gets on my nerves. I mean, how else are people gonna know about your guild? But still, like going into a game and then leaving just to advertise your guild. Super annoying. Number two, when people say legendary to their own build in build battle. I mean, come on, like the small minority of people that's actually gonna be like, oh, this person said legendary, I have to give this legendary, is such a slim percentage. There's no point, it's just, I don't know, it just annoys me. When Technoblade is streaming and he fills up an entire lobby and you just can't join. When you're playing a game like Smash Heroes and you have to download a resource pack and then your potato computer crashes. I've like had delays, I've never had my computer crash, but a few of my friends actually have had their computer crash when they play a resource pack game. When you have a huge murderer chance and are still innocent, or even detective, like 26% chance, I mean I get it, it's only like an actual fifth, but come on, it's pretty much higher than everyone else probably. When you make an inappropriate build and build battle, there's really no need to make a PP. Like, you're not gaining anything. You're not gonna win unless you're like filling a game with your friends, which is even more annoying. They're gonna vote for your PP. However, there's just no point in making an inappropriate build. It just wastes everyone's time and it makes the game less fun for miners and literally everyone else. Crate looter. Need I say more? Hackers, obviously. It's just like making a PP in build battle. What are you accomplishing apart from ruining the game from others? And yeah, I get it, you have to vent sometimes, but come on, don't just ruin the game for no reason. Getting stuck in phantom blocks. When I made the community post, a lot of people said this. I it usually doesn't happen to me, I don't have footage of it, like I don't have footage of many of these things. But uh, a lot of you, I'm sure, get stuck in phantom blocks, even though I personally have not experienced it that much. That must suck. You can't even move. I think I've experienced it like, a few times. It's terrible. People leaving Bed Wars games right before the game starts, just to reset the countdown. I mean, come on. Why? When you queue for twos and your partner leaves or sucks, like duo Bed Wars or duo whatever sky wars your partner either leaves tries to team spleef you or they're just really bad and that's not their fault but it's still super annoying false bans now tenebris did a video about this if you want more information but i get it getting false banned sucks and it's really hard to appeal as well lagging in pvp i mean it's your wi-fi but it's still kind of annoying Accepting a trade in Skyblock and then decline it and then it's like if somebody accepts your trade and then declines the last second Even if it was a better trade for them, but you just need the resources. I mean come on man If you're going to accept you might as well go through with it People AFKing in murder mystery. I'm do I do this too when I'm editing a video and playing with a friend But I understand why this annoys a bunch of people because you're not even playing the game You're just in there for the sake of being there When you say okay to something, and then 10 minutes later you try to say okay again while still in the same lobby, but the anti-spam says it's spam, and pretty much chat restrictions in general, I really recommend, I mean, I don't, because I don't endorse spending your money, but, I don't know, buying a rank to remove the chat cooldown is one of the best perks of a rank. Post video if he's here, we're gonna take a small intermission just to highlight how many people are frustrated with Skyblock. Okay, moving back towards the video. <laughs> When people get really pissed at you for saying creeper in hopes of an aw man. I mean, it's okay if nobody says aw man, but if you tell them to shut up, which has happened to me a lot, just don't. I mean, it's a dead meme, but it was really annoying. Toxic people. People that say L or curse after they lose, or demand for a 1v1, or even friend you and then spam you with negative messages and then remove you as a friend. Those are the worst. Hackusators. Similar to hackers, but not really. Getting accused for hacks can be really annoying if someone is set on it. I mean, if someone says hacks, it would make me feel a bit better at PvP and raises my ego. However, if someone continuously harasses you for thinking you use hacks and you just don't, it's super annoying. 
you need a rank to choose maps. You have to pay to be able to choose a map. Like MVP is the MVP up is the only thing that can buy that can only yeah, the only thing that can choose a murder mystery map. And I'm sure other maps as well. Although I don't really know for sure, but I know this is a problem that a few people have commented about. Shout delay on Bed Wars. I mean I get it. That way nobody stands in the public chat too much. But when you want to say something like you're having a conversation, it sucks that you have to slash shout and then wait 60 seconds before shouting again. When you open the tracker in Bed Wars accidentally, this has happened to me so many times, and it just has to be in your inventory every single time. I mean, it's useful, but in early game, you're not going to use the tracker at all. Certain mystery boxes need ranks. When I didn't have a rank for a, for the beginning of days on Hypixel, it was super annoying that you have to get a rank to open a mystery box that's like 5 or 4 stars. I mean, come on, even on Mineplex it's free. When you mistype and guess the build, and now everyone knows what it is. This has happened to me in Scribble.io, and then guess the build multiple times. I hate misspelling, because then you have to wait another 3 seconds to actually get it right, and by then all, almost everybody and their mom in, in China knows what it is. MVP is pretty much VIP+, plus, but with more cosmetics. This is the final item on our list, and I just want to point out, if you are getting your rank, don't buy MVP unless you like how it looks or you want to do the mystery box thing. Because the only thing that's better than, M than VIP plus in MVP is the cosmetics. You get a bit more cosmetics, that's about it. So I really recommend buying VIP plus, MVP plus, or VIP. MVP is just not worth the money at all. And of course, uh, people advertising their stream. I mean, that kind of sucks as well. Anyway, thank you so much for this. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and comment down below if I missed anything that really annoys you, or if there was something on this list that annoys you a bunch. I would like to know what annoys you guys the most, because you know it's pretty interesting. Anyway, no complaint to Hypixel. They have a great server, probably my favorite in all of Minecraft. Actually, it definitely is my favorite. But yeah, these are just some things that me and a few other players find annoying. No big deal. Just a fun game. See y'all next time, and peace out.